Training period is very, very crucial because now we will go for the power descent and then navigation and then again slow descent, descent up to the surface. So that is a very crucial phase. That's the most crucial phase. But the real fruit will come after the landing, after the safe landing, which we are also eagerly waiting for. Uh, the payloads. There are uh, there is there is lander and there is rover. Rover is now kept inside the lander and rover will come out. There are two payloads in l rover. It's called Aspex. Uh, that is uh, the uh, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer and uh, LIBS, Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy. These both these things are for the measurement of atmospheric const uh, surface constituents. It will be looking down from the rover. So it will be getting information about what is the kind of minerals present there, what is the kind of materials present there, like magnesium, aluminium, iron, so many uh, contents, variety of contents. You need both these things, then only you can have the white cross section. In the lander, we have four payloads. Uh, two of them were from uh, SpaceX Laboratory, from Sarawai Space Center, and two uh, from, one from um, uh, this uh, um, URSC. <coughs> And another is a retro reflector. Retro reflector is not basically for studying moon, I mean per se, moon surface or something. It is for ranging between moon, moon to earth uh, ranging. It, is a, uh, it will have application even beyond Chandrayaan. It's only a ret reflector, retro reflector. The actual payloads are three. One, uh, the seismograph. Seismograph will measure any kind of, you know, like in earth, you have uh, gravity, uh, you know, uh, the, the uh, perturbations. So these perturbations can be measured, like meteor is impacting. Moon surface is constantly getting impacted by meteors. So meteor, meteor impact it will be able to detect. Any lunar seismic activity it will be able to detect. In fact, it is so powerful, so sensitive, that even the insertion of, uh, you know, we, we say deployment and insertion of the chaste payload into the lunar surface can be detected by that. To that extent, it is uh, sensitive. When you come to the uh, physics, payloads. Uh, one is the uh, Rempa LP. LP is Langmuir probe. Langmuir probe will measure what is the uh, plasma density in the atmosphere, lunar atmosphere. Moon has a very thin surface. Its concentration may be 10 power 8 times lower than at the earth, even more. But it has. And this LP is able to measure it. But only thing is it will not be neutral, it will be in ionized form because solar extreme ultraviolet radiations are directly coming there. So uh, this will be ionized and lunar uh, uh, atmosphere, we say surface bound exosphere to be precise because it will be constantly escaping from moon surface, uh, can be measured. Plasma, spheric density and characteristics, concentration, uh, temperature, energy associated, those things can be determined from uh, Langmuir probe. There is a, uh, the other payload is Chaste. Uh, it is for studying the lunar surface. There is something called a regolith. That is the top surface of the, uh, top layer of the lunar surface. That is thermally uh, non-conductive, very, very non-conductive. So its top surface can come to, uh, say, of the order of 30 degrees centigrade. But a few centimeters down, it may be of the order of uh, minus uh, 50, minus 100. This is what the calculations show. But nobody measured this. So we are going to measure it for the first time. What is the kind of profile that will be existing? So you have a, a probe that will be inserted into the uh, lunar uh, regolith. It's, uh, we will penetrate up to around uh, 10 centimeter for probing. Actually, uh, 14 centimeter, including the tip. The tip will be actually uh, aiding us to penetrate. So 10 centimeter of the lunar uh, surface will be uh, probe. Temperature will be measured. And basically, it will give you the conductivity of the lunar uh, regolith. This is very important for future applications because uh, this regolith can be a building block for future uh, space bases, lunar bases. So this property we need to study very well. So that's why uh, we, are, we are taking this measurements. Sir, uh, you think this is the first time we are going to... This is the first time that lunar regolith is measured. Apollo mission measured the temperature of the lunar interior, uh, actually with a drilling uh, thing. You know, once you drill it, the property changes. So you can, you can still have it, but then they went to much deeper depth, not high profiling. 
they just look at the surface that can be from uh, any kind of measurement uh, including uh, major measurements but then they went deeper to one, one meter kind of thing not the total lunar regolith they did not focus on that because they couldn't also because they were going for drilling and drilling will not give you any measurement of this this chaste is designed in such a way that it will not perturb the lunar regolith at all it will slowly penetrate very slowly but even that can be detected by the uh, seismograph that is the sensitivity of the instruments